Howdy again, everybody. This is Doc from Thoroughfan coming to you with the name behind the race. And this week we are going to head out to Philadelphia and Parks Racing for the Cotillion Stakes, part of their biggest day, obviously, of the year with the Cotillion and the PA Derby happening this Saturday. And, you know, when I first looked at the stakes races for this weekend and I knew I was going to kind of profile the Cotillion, I figured it had to be named after a person with that name or, or a horse with that name, something like that, you know, especially since it was such a big stakes race. And, well, it turns out I was wrong. And I'm going to show you exactly why I was wrong as we look at the name behind the race. Cotillion. A famous person? A famous horse, perhaps? Well, nope. So what exactly is a cotillion, then? I had to thumb through the old dictionary for this one, as I was stumped after not being able to find the usual reasons for a race name. Basically, what I found was that a cotillion is a formal ball or dance where debutantes are introduced or presented to everybody in attendance. It was a custom where these young women would, in a way, formally be introduced to young potential male suitors. Usually, it includes a formal dance of some kind as well as can be seen briefly here. So, I guess you could say the cotillion at Parks was a way for these young fillies to be debuted to the racing world, even though it was being held later in the year. The race was inaugurated in 1969, being run back at the old Liberty Bell Park in northern Philly. None other than the amazing and great race mare Chuvie won the first running. It then moved to the Keystone Park, which eventually became Philadelphia Park, which then eventually became Parks as we know it today. It was called the Fitz-Dixon Cotillion from 2006 to 2010 as a nod to Fitz Eugene Dixon Jr. and all he had contributed both to Philadelphia and the racing industry throughout his life. The race has seen many great, amazing performances from these upcoming debutantes of the racing world. So many great performers, in fact, that it was granted the status of Grade 1 in 2012 becoming the first grade one race ever to be held in Pennsylvania. Previous winners have also included Susan's Girl, Lady Juliet, and more recently, Havre de Grasse, Untappable, and of course, the splendid win last year bit, of the great song. And Catherine Sophia now suddenly three lengths behind, but Songbird comes off the turn, and the champ has taken command. At the eighth pole, Songbird begins to stride away. Karina be a second, Catherine Sophia laboring back in third. Here she is, folks, just a magnificent blend of grace and power as she comes to the finish. Songbird, a picture of perfection. Well, there you go. Everything you potentially wanted to know about the Cotillion, I realize it, it, it really probably isn't quite as interesting as a lot of people might have uh, envisioned, but I did still want to profile it because it is one of the big races that's happening this weekend. And in fact, barring any kind of emergency uh, where I normally work, I will be there. So uh, come on out to Parks this Saturday for a great day of thoroughbred horse racing. Again, it's the Cotillion. You got the PA Derby, which should be an outstanding race in its own right. Uh, look for the pinhead. I'll be hanging around. We'll sit down. We'll talk horses a little bit. We might even meet some great other Thorough fan members there. So uh, that's about going to do it for this week's segment of the name behind the race. If you happen to have a race you are curious about the name behind, drop us a line here at Thorough fan. I'll be happy to research it for you, and you never know, it could end up on a future segment. I'm Doc for Thorough Fan, and we will see you next time on the name Behind the Race. If you're an incredibly passionate Thoroughbred Racing fan and want to find a whole bunch of people that are just like you, why not check out Thorough Fan at thoroughfan.com. Sign up to become a member, get our amazing weekly newsletter, and learn everything and anything there is to know about this amazing sport we call thoroughbred horse racing. Thoroughfan, giving the fans a voice.